Locating articles in CSU's library databases isn't a problem. Locating articles relevant to your topic, however, can be. A well-defined research question and good keywords will get you a long way, but at some point you just gotta slog through a list of results. That takes time, but if you use the right approach, it doesn't have to take ridiculous amounts of time. Romance isn't easy, so I made a flowchart. Bear with me here. Imagine you see someone across the room at the Rio, being rude to a waiter while hollering into a mobile phone. If you're like me, it doesn't matter how attractive that person is if they're behaving like a jerk, ugh, we're done. Now imagine you see someone paying for a stranger's coffee. That's someone I might like to have a conversation with. If the conversation goes well, maybe we go on a date. If several hundred dates go well, maybe we get married. The process I just described is a graduated approach to evaluating romantic partners. The point is, a graduated approach is a really good way of efficiently sorting through lots of something, like human beings, or articles. How about an example? Because I'm single and really dislike chatting up strangers, I'm going to look for articles that'll help me be successful with online dating. And search. Great. Over a quarter of a million results. So, yeah, I'm going to use a graduated approach. It has four steps. Oh, and it doesn't matter what database you're using. This method works with any big list. Step one, start reading titles for two reasons. Reason one, titles sum up an article's topic. Some do this better than others. Reason two, they're the first thing you see in the list of results. It's like checking out a potential date's clothing or shoes. It's not the best way to learn about someone. That's going through their garbage, which you definitely should never do. But it does give you relevant information, and it's really fast and easy. Here's one that looks good. What makes you click? Mate preferences and online dating. The phrase mate preferences roughly translates to what people look for in a partner, and I want to be someone's partner, so this article probably contains relevant information. But I'm not going to read it right away. That's for later. The goal right now is to collect promising articles. I do this by reading lots of titles and opening interesting ones into new tabs as I find them. That way, I never leave the search page but can easily return to my findings when I'm done. In the end, I want to have at least three good articles. It's a good idea to assume that only about a third of the titles that look relevant will actually be relevant, so I'm going to keep reading until I have eight or nine candidates set aside. All right, let's imagine I found seven more and move on to step two which is to read the abstracts of the promising articles. In most databases, if you click on an article's title, you'll see an information page or record for that article that includes an abstract, which is a summary of the article. They're about a paragraph long and provide a lot more detail about the article than just reading the title alone. Usually, if the abstract sounds relevant to your topic, the article will be too, like this one. This article is about a study. The authors learned about how truthful people are about their preferences and what those preferences actually are. Can't get much more relevant than that, so I'm going to download the full text, save it for later, and keep reading abstracts. When I find abstracts that seem irrelevant, I discard them like an old moldy bag of tangerines. Oh, and if you can't find an abstract, don't worry. Just read the introduction or the first few paragraphs of the article. That's almost as good. The point is to learn more about each article so you can decide if you want to use it or toss it. Step 3. Sort the remaining full-text articles in order of relevance. I'm going to print them out to make the video easier to follow. Based on their abstracts, these articles are almost certainly relevant to success in online dating. However, they're probably not all equally relevant, and I still have more than I need, so I'm going to sort them. This part is completely about personal preference. All I'm doing is looking at the articles as a group and deciding which ones I like best, second best, and third best. I only need three, so the rest go into backup storage, like when you unfollow someone on social media but still stay friends with them in case they can be useful to you in the future. Step four, read every article you're planning to actually use. This is the only way to know for sure if an article has something useful to offer. It's like going on a bunch of dates before getting married. It can reveal the kinds of details that are both important and invisible at first glance. Like a hatred of owls in formal wear. Because they're adorable. And there we are. If you run out of articles at any point, just go back into your unfollowed friends pile and see if you missed anything the first time around. 
If necessary, try new keywords or a new database, or hey, ask for help. The Morgan Library's Help Desk or Ask Us Live Chat can assist you with your search and would be elated to have the opportunity.